Well, it is Serge, the centre ref, but who will be the centre of attention? Emre Atesli. What can he produce in this one? Well, Sheikh Salasisi, the Olympic champion in the under 80s. He's had some good success so far in the middleweight division. And that's the first wrong step he's taken all day. Went in the wrong road. But he owns this ring and he was so, so good against Dejan Jerzewski, the Olympic silver medalist in the semi-final. Likewise, Emery Atesley overcoming Caden Cunningham of Great Britain. All to fight for in this final final on day two or three at the Rome Grand Prix. Serge Simbon, the centre ref, gets them ready. Emery Atesli, a fully fledged heavyweight. Sheikh Salasisi, freshly up from the welterweight through the middleweight, but we need weight no longer. The heavyweight men bringing to a close day two of the Rome Grand Prix. A Tesla open stance, CC, nice fake. Good shot on the inside there, a Tesla. Kick into the body, flicking one up. Good punch from CC, that one lands. Plus the push. And you'll need a quick push. And it's just that. Tesli standing to attention, the Turk in the centre. Cissé takes the punch. Gamjom given 4-2 now to a Tesli. Just asking for an injury timeout there. Could have been from the previous matches. Cam John will be given for that refusal to fight. But he's looking well now. Good shot again from a test. The front leg waiting. Both heavyweight men quick off the mark. The tuck with the quality so far. The final final here in Rome. Heavyweight, heavy tension. But patience turning into passivity there. Two point game. Good punch again from Cissé. Does well to avoid the head kick. So far, Emery Atesley just ahead. Cissé pulling himself back into it, but being pulled all over the mat there. Atesley. The gam jump given. Juan Antonio Ramos just keeping Czech Salasisi's focus on the match. He has a one point lead in the first. What can Czech Cissé produce? Last 10. A Tesla needs a point or better to win this first round. Creates the gam jump. And if it then goes to six all, it'll be a tie game. And there's various criteria for the decider, but we'll get into that once we actually have the decision. Punch there from Cissé. Atesli on the back leg counter. The clock ticks down, the push there, straight away from Atesli, takes it into his own feet. As Cissé limps back to his coach in the corner. One round up. Emery Atesli showing his power. 
as he powers to that 1-0 lead. So if it did go to a tie, total points scored by spinning kicks or turning kicks, followed by higher point value techniques from headshot down to gam jump. Then it's the registered hits on the PSS. And then it's the old school Usei Karok. I've never met him, but he seems well known. That would be down to aggressive match management, greater number of techniques, more advanced techniques, or indeed better competition manner. We're going through a final lunges here. He's feeling the pressure. He's going to have to dig it out. The adrenaline will wear off. That'll be a, a sore one tomorrow for sure. But will it be a gold or a silver to keep CSA company, but certainly keeping him company down the stretch? Emery Atesley. The show of respect. The big show in Rome. Emery Atesley has the quality. CC trying to come forward, and he had motion to Juan Antonio Ramos that he didn't know if he could continue. And that will certainly be the case. A warm ovation, of course, for Emery Atesley, and a lovely show of respect from the Turk. Well, we wish Sheik CC a speedy recovery as Tazigul Servet comes in to offer his commiserations as the doctor runs the rule over it. You can see Pearl just pointing to the inside of the thigh there as Ramos and Servet, two coaches meeting in the middle. But in terms of a heavyweight meeting, it's this man here, Emery Atesley. He met the challenge, an unfortunate withdrawal in the second round there for Sheikh Salasisi.